Cell and gene therapies are a revolution in medicine where a patient's cells and tissues are engineered to restore normal function and reverse the effects of diseases that were previously incurable, such as some blood cancers and some genetic diseases. To support this, the Cell and Gene Therapy Catapult is coordinating the creation of a network of advanced therapy treatment centres within the NHS to ensure these transformative therapies reach those patients who are in desperate need of them. Katie Haswell reports. This is Guy's Hospital in central London and inside here is a UK research base which is quite literally leading the world in a new type of treatment which is so advanced it's at the cutting edge of modern medicine. The cell and gene therapy catapult was set up in 2012 to speed the development of revolutionary new therapies with funding from Innovate UK. Catapult is a not-for-profit research technology organisation. Uh, we, we get a grant from government to, to do this, but we also get funding from um, collaborative R&D with, with, with companies coming from a variety of sources, from Innovate UK, from Wellcome Trust, from Horizon 2020. But, but we also get funding uh, directly from industry who really recognise the fact that we've been able to assemble 150 gene and cell therapy experts here uh, that they're able to access that expertise to actually accelerate the development of these products. Thanks to the Catapult's work with the industry and researchers to overcome technology barriers, there are now over 60 firms working in the UK, attracting over £1.3 billion worth of investment. Our job has been to work with firms and with academics to actually turn cells, genes into living medicines and gene medicines that could be routinely delivered for patients and for once in the UK actually develop an industry that's world beating to supply both the UK and globally. Cell and gene therapies often use a patient's own cells or DNA to treat the underlying causes of a disease by making healthy new cells engineering tissues or correcting faulty genes to restore the body's normal function. The scientists they extract some uh, of your T cells, they are the cells of your immune system. So once they're out of the body they're being manipulated on and uh, their gene profile is changed a little bit and then they put it, them back into your body and that way they can go straight for the tumour and attack it and hopefully dissolve it. Now these technologies are going to a new level. Gene therapy company Nightstar is trialling a new treatment for choroideremia, an inherited eye condition which causes a patient to go progressively blind over the years. The therapy involves replacing the faulty gene with a functioning one, using a harmless virus to smuggle it into the cells. Scientists remove the virus's own genes and replace them with the good genes. The surgeon injects the virus containing the new genes into the eye to do its job of transferring the therapeutic genes. 90% of trial patients maintained their vision and 20% even saw improvements. Patients were able to read on a visual acuity chart three lines higher than a baseline in approximately 20% of patients. Uh, and this was quite exciting because in a disease where uh, visual um, acuity decreases over time, you wouldn't expect to see this. The first gene therapies are being approved and they're coming to our NHS. And what's important is that uh, in, in a country where we have a very good regulatory environment, the MHRA are very expert about the development of these programs. It's an ideal environment for us to do the early phase drug development and, and get approvals. Because cell and gene therapies require specialist new technologies to make them, the Catapult has built a world-leading manufacturing development facility in Stevenage. And the Cell and Gene Therapy Catapult and Innovate UK are working with the industry and the NHS to open three advanced therapy treatment centres in UK hospitals next year. They're really like nothing most hospitals have ever seen before. It's fantastically exciting to actually be part of a setup that's, that's going to change the way medicine's delivered. It's as close as you get to saving lives unless you're an actual doctor or a nurse because 
The technology here is breakthrough and a lot of the trials have been successful. So hopefully we'll see some of the treatments on the market soon and we've helped develop them.